The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. This is the 2019 Badgerland Fall Fundraiser, um, specifically for new volunteers. However, if we have returning volunteers online, don't worry. Um, you're still welcome here. We're just going to go into a little bit more in-depth information um, for our volunteers who have never played in Unify before. So you'll get just a little bit more uh, information than you may have wanted or needed at this point. Um, you should have seen in the notes section that if at any time during today you do have a question, um, you can email me at eganss at gsbadgerland.org. And if you could put in the subject line training question, that way I will know to look at those immediately um, and to be able to answer your question possibly during this webinar. Um, and if you just um, logged in or just registered for the webinar and you didn't receive an email from me with the PowerPoint slide deck, um, in the handout section, you can find that as well to be able to download it. So um, my name is Sally Egan and I'm the Director of Product Sales. And today we have uh, Gail Sidersky with us. She is our um, sales representative from QSP and Ashton Farms. And so we are gonna leap ahead into this training um, we technically have you for an hour and a half. Um, however, we talk fast, so we might get done a little bit early. Okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, the first thing I want to point out to you are the sale dates, the fall product program sale dates. So the online sale dates are August 14th through October 22nd, and then the in-person is October 2nd, to October 20th. The troop proceeds across the board, some of the most generous I've seen out there, whether it's magazines or the and more items or the nuts and chocolate, 25%. You will have a variety of items to choose from, from magazines to candles, tumblers, something new this year called cool cards, and we also have the nuts and chocolates and a variety of snacks. Cadet senior and ambassador levels, you can um, opt out of uh, the rewards and receive additional proceeds of 3%, which would then net out at 28% uh, troop proceeds. Our program theme is Leap Ahead, Create Your Path, and our mascot this year is the fawn. Uh, kind of backed by popular demand, if you look in the lower section of the PowerPoint slide, you'll see that we have the interlocking patches back. So the girls can earn both the Leap Ahead and the Create Your Path with the interlocking patches. Also, with kind of the fall product program, the council has really made a conscious effort to say this is really a troop uh, fundraiser, if you will. It's a great way if maybe you have um, maybe you have a field trip or supplies you're in need of. This is a great opportunity for you to capture some funds from now until when your cookie monies would come in, as well as the girls learn a variety of different leadership skills, such as financial literacy and those types of things. So our timeline, um, you can see that we started trainings back on August 10th. And it says till September 28th, but we moved some dates. And so this is actually our, our last official training. Um, so if anybody missed the training, we will be putting the training up online um, with the slide deck so that they can uh, view the recording. Um, the in-person part of the sale begins, uh, runs October 2nd through the 20th. So girls will be selling um, the nuts and candy stuff. The magazines are online only. Um, that is a change for this year. Um, we just saw that the um, amount of people buying magazines in person kept decreasing over the years. And so that is an online only thing. But as you'll see in the resources that we have available for girls, she has her own business card. So if she used to have someone that bought in person from her or she talks with someone and they would like to buy a magazine, um, she can hand them their business card and go directly to her online store. Um, at this, during this sale, girls collect money at the time of that in-person sale. So when someone happens to order one of the items, she will be collecting money at the time of them ordering. We ask that uh, troops go in and verify that your bank data is accurate and unified before October 20th. Um, if you are a returning troop, I will be uploading all of the bank data as of October 2nd. Um, so please don't go and, you know, check before that. 
Um, if you're a, if you're a brand new troop, I know you're still working on getting yourself a bank account. Don't worry. As long as you have it by October 20th, we'll all be good. And we'll show you later in the presentation how you can go in and check for that financial information. October 21st, your girls' orders and money that they collected from their customers is due to you, the Troop Fall Fundraising Coordinator. Um, October 23rd, all of your orders are due in Unify. Um, the reports that we ask you to print are due to your product sales manager in your community. Um, and then we ask that you get your Troop's money deposited into your Troop bank account because on October 31st, we will be withdrawing from your Troop bank account the money that you owe the council. So all of your profits will stay in your bank account. We'll just pull the other money that's due. Now, some of our troops um, have a lot of girls who are very active online and have a lot of online sales. So there are actually some times where we are pushing profits back into your account where you don't owe the council anything because we've collected money on your behalf already. So we just push money back into your account um, on October 31st instead of pulling money out of it. Um, the week of November 11th to the 15th is when your nut items and rewards will be delivered to the communities. It probably isn't gonna be until the beginning of November that we will actually know routes from our delivery agents and what day is gonna be coming, the, they'll be coming to your community. So please hang tight on that. I know it's a short window, um, but our delivery agents like to fill their trucks as, as full as they can um, when they're delivering throughout our council. So um, they need to wait till, to find out what the quantities are that they need to deliver to each community before they can set their route. And then um, from November 11th to the 24th, the girls will be delivering those nut and candy items uh, to their customers that had placed the order back in October. So information that you should be receiving from your community product sales manager, um, you can see those items listed on the screen. I'll go over them in just a second, but if you're unsure who your product sales manager is for your community, please reach out to our customer care um, and they will be able to tell you who that is. Um, if you know you don't have one in your community and it's something, it's a pretty easy position and you're um, okay with having the, the product come to you and distributing it to the troops, let us know that as well. You can let uh, uh, our customer care team know. Um, but if you know we don't have one in your community, um, you would be picking up your paperwork from the nearest uh, council service center. So what is that paperwork that you're gonna be picking up? Um, there, one per troop, you're gonna be receiving a green form that is the responsibility agreement saying that you are willing to accept that paperwork or accept the responsibility for doing this with your troop and any money that is collected will be going into your troop bank account. And then the other portion of that form is the ACA agreement that is telling us your bank account data. I know I already asked you to put it in, but if you don't follow through on doing that, our product sales managers need to do that for us. So that is why we ask. And then they can also double check that you have done it and there wasn't a typo or anything made. The other thing is you're gonna have a big envelope for all of your paperwork to go into. And on that big envelope are your instructions of what is due when and this, you know, how, how you use the materials that we provide. Then the one per girl is there is a girl envelope that also has the instructions for her and her parent about participating. Um, and inside that envelope, you can put the following items, the spread the word business cards, um, which we'll show you in just a little bit. Um, information about logging onto Unify, um, the online flyer, an in-person nut candy order form, and then the parent guardian permission slip, which is orange. The great thing about the permission slip and the candy order form is on both of those, the candy order form actually shows a picture of what all of the rewards look like and girls can circle what their choice is on that order form. The other thing is on the permission slip, it also has a section where the girl can choose which one and circle that. So when you, if they forget to enter their reward order online, or you wanna verify that they did it, you will have their choices directly in front of you after they have turned in their information to, to you on October 21st. So I did have a question. We are live here in La Crosse and I have a couple people in the audience. You have a question? Community product sale manager, that's different than the one that's in your 
Correct. So the community, the question was, is the community product sales manager, is that different than the person in your troop? Yes. So how our structure works is, um, so you have your girls, you have your troop in your troop, you have the co-leaders and you have the product sales coordinator. Okay. Um, for your troop. So that person is you. That's the person that's overseeing the sales and getting that information in the, in the Unify system. Then from there, all of the troops report to a person who we call the community product sales manager. So they are the one that is organizing all the troops in your community and making sure that you've gone in, you've done the paperwork, the entries that you're supposed to do. And then they report to me or my colleague, Terry, in our Madison office, um, and we reach out to them if there's any issues with regard to anything in your community. So in Unify, what we've done is made available a variety of different activities that you as a troop leader can do with your girls. We have other things in there like goal charts. And if you're, you know, you're getting set to maybe do a troop meeting and you're not sure what you're going to do, these are just fun activities that um, are available in the system. And I'll show you where that is in just a minute. So two ways to participate. The very first way is uh, the girls will create their online site. And Sally's been talking about um, getting in there and, and creating and setting up their account and then using the business card. So let me tell you how that works. With the flyer, you'll see three easy steps. Basically, um, as Sally mentioned, she will upload the girls. They'll receive an email to the parents' email. And then when they go in and create their account, they receive an online ID. That online ID is kind of their identifier that they share with people. And then when people go online and shop, the girl receives credit for all the sales because they have her unique identifier. So three easy steps to create their online site. And then we also provide the spread the word business card. That's kind of a nice tool because um, on there, there's a spot for the online ID that the girl receives. And when she writes that on there, she could then share that business card with family and friends and neighbors. And parents could even take those business cards and share them with coworkers. Um, I myself am more of a, a late night shopper online. And so when I would have a business card like this, I could jump online and go ahead and order when it's convenient for me. So that's the online portion, and that's when the emails will be sent out to your customers once you once the girl <laughs> creates her online um, account. The next part is the in-person nut and chocolate order taking, and that's just like cookies. Essentially, you get the order card, you go out and take orders, and then those will get entered into the system by the troops. So a lot of times people want to know what does the customer see when that email goes out? And um, we wanted to give you an example of that. So here's the basics. It's pretty straightforward. There's an opportunity for, uh, for you to personalize the email. You'll see that kind of in that center section there. Uh, very important for the girl to put a photo in there. We do give them an opportunity to create a patch. That's kind of one of the first steps in the girl dashboard. And on average, uh, about 30% higher sales with some sort of picture there. If they don't want to create the patch, uh, we do have a button for them to take a selfie or even upload a family picture or the family pet or whatever it might be. Then the customer will click on the Shop Now button. And this is the experience that they'll have this year shopping. Um, in the past, uh, it hasn't been as clear of which store to go into, but we've kind of improved that and made it much easier. So uh, on the left side of your screen there, you'll see if they want to go into the magazine and more store in there, they'll see uh, candles, the new cool cards, tumblers and magazines. And then in the nut and chocolate store, nuts, chocolate tins and snacks, no matter which store they go in, they would pay with their credit card. So all of those online orders will then track over directly to the girl and parent that generated the email. So in the nut and chocolate store, when they go in there, you have the option of giving them a couple of ways to shop. First off, we have something called Girl Delivered and every customer will receive the Girl Delivered email unless you turn off that option. 
and we'll show you where that is in Unify. So they can shop with the girl delivered, which essentially means they won't pay the shipping. The girl will actually deliver the product to them, or they can shop the direct ship store. No matter which store they go into, again, they would pay with their credit card and those sales would then track over directly to the girl. Let's take, for example, that you've sent a girl delivered um, order or you've given them that email option. They go into that store. They will have 16 items to choose from. And those are the very same items that are on the nut and chocolate order card. If they shop that store, again, they will not have to pay shipping and the girl will simply make those deliveries directly to them. The thing to keep in mind is the girl delivery option ends when the in-person nut and chocolate sale ends because we wanna make sure that those orders are available and ready for the girl when she gets her in-person orders. If they go into the direct ship store, they'll have 30 items to choose from. So a variety of different things from uh, additional chins to jumble cashews to all of the different items that we have available that aren't on the order card. Brand new this year, we have the Girl Scout collectible tin and inside are the mint treasures and they have the individually uh, wrapped uh, Girl Scout logo on the outside. Uh, if you wanna check this out, stop by the council office, but if you look at the sash and the little purse there, they are embossed, so they're slightly raised. And this is a collectible tin. I'm hearing that we might have the brownie Girl Scout uniform next year. We also have the Holiday Snowflake tin and the Caramel Treasures are inside those. Again, the Fall Product Program is indeed around the holidays, so this is a great teacher appreciation gift. Brand new this year, Thin Mint Almonds. These are my absolute favorite. I think the balance of the dark chocolate with the mint and the almond um, is amazing. Uh, they come in a pop-top can, so essentially you get Thin Mints year-round now. <laughs> Dark chocolate peppermint pretzels come in a holiday-ish looking bag. Um, they have the red and the green. It's a stand-up uh, reusable bag. Uh, not a feature I've had a chance to use yet because I tend to just kind of start snacking away. They are delicious. So you might want to check those out as well. We just had uh, the gals here uh, sampling the barbecue snack mix that comes in the pop-top can. And uh, the question, what is, is it spicy? And uh, the answer is no, it's more sweet is what we're hearing. Um, so I think Sally and Terry and the team did a great job with the new selections, as well as some of the very popular returning items on your nut and chocolate order card. We will again offer the community care program, which gives people an opportunity to make donations at the $7 level. And then those donations, the council will uh, gift those snacks to Operation Homefront, and then the gift of reading will go to the regional children's hospitals. Regardless of whether it's a donation order or an in-person nut and chocolate order, troop proceeds are the same, and the girls earn credit toward rewards as well. Six or more of the community care donation orders, and the girls will earn the share patch you see on the top of the slide. So that was the new nut and chocolate items. And now I'm gonna talk about the new and more items. As, Mag as uh, Sally said earlier, magazines have transitioned online. You have the same great selection. You have the same pricing. You can get renewal orders or new orders. The nice part is, is by ordering them online is they will arrive quicker than the, uh, the paper order process. Last year, we had over 300% growth with the and more items, so we know that we have something that, the cons that consumers like. Um, we are coming back with some of those same items like the Yankee-style candle and the pumpkin candle and the turvis tumblers, and we have the lantern candles and the uh, beehive candles. So the popular items are coming back. There's one category that didn't make it, and that is the organic veggies. We are also adding a couple of new items, which I'll show you now. 
So brand new is the Girl Scout collectible candle. It is uh, same shape and design as last year's Girl Scout candle. It's the second in the series. So it is the 20 ounce ceramic reusable container, has the cookies on the outside, and then the fragrance is the sugar cookie. So note the line across the bottom. When it comes to and more items, if you achieve $75 or more in sales, you receive free shipping. So the and more items are the candles, the tumblers, the stainless steel tumbler, tumblers, and the cool cards. It is not the nut and chocolates or the magazines. So keep that in mind when you're figuring out your $75 in free shipping. A couple of new candles we have in our and more category is the snowman candle. It comes with a cute plaid red and green scarf. And then we also have the share kindness candles. They're dual wicked. Um, we only have a couple of images on here of the share kindness candles, but when you get online, you'll see a variety of different uh, designs that you can shop from. This is brand new, and if you've purchased cards recently, you'll know that uh, in most cases, you could be paying anywhere from four to six dollars for a birthday card or a teacher card or or any kind of sympathy card or that sort of thing. Um, this, this is, uh, if you look kind of in the lower left-hand corner, there's a, there's a white box and it has a purple handle on it. And inside this box are 35 all occasion cards with coordinating envelopes and they cost $40. So that's about $1.15 a card. And if you check these out, again, if you get a chance to swing by the council, they're triple fold. Uh, there's die cuts in them, there's glitter, there's uh, foil and paper embellishments. These are very nice cards that we've designed ourselves. So you're not going to see them um, anywhere like in a Costco or that sort of thing. So you might want to check those out of very good value. And again, part of the and more items. As I mentioned earlier, we are coming back with the Tervis tumblers. Uh, there's a couple of new Tervis tumblers, and that's the Simply Southern line, the ones with the pink lid. And again, part of the um, part of the Ann Moore category. Tervis tumblers do have a lifetime guarantee, so uh, a very good investment at the $25 point. Stainless steel tumblers for 20 that we have the 20 ounce and the 30 ounce. Uh, stainless steel tumblers. I think this one here is called uh, watercolor, the, uh, the smaller one. And then for the larger 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler, we do offer a handle uh, because once you get the, the weight of the liquid in there, it, it can be a little bit hardy to carry. The 10 ounce tumblers are growing in popularity. We've seen a lot of those in coffee shops and beverage shops. So again, we're rolling that out this year. And again, part of the $75 or more free shipping. Before we go into the rewards, Gail, if someone buys online an order, order that is not girl delivery, so it's the online, they pay for the shipping, approximately how long does it take for them to get their product? Uh, the product is shipped within 72 hours Okay. for the nuts and chocolate. Okay, what about if they're buying the tumblers or the and any of the and more items? That can be three to four days, somewhere in there uh, before it goes out. Okay, so I would say maybe a week or so after yes. you place the order, you might you should be seeing your product. Yeah, I would I would say to be safe, depending upon where it's being shipped. So that's it. That's coming from the Tennessee area, so you might want to allow seven to ten days. Okay. Um, and uh, we haven't mentioned it yet, but just to get this out there, and I don't forget to ask the question later. Um, if a person pays with check for any in-person, who do they make th that out to? They can make it out to your troop because you're depositing those funds into your troop bank account. They can make it out to Girl Scouts. They could make it out to Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Badgerland Council. Any of those three would be okay for you to put them into your troop bank account. The one that is not okay is for them to write it out to the parent. So you don't want to have a customer write it out to a parent in the troop um, because if you as a troop experience an NSF check into your bank account or one that you attempted to deposit and it bounces back, we actually have a form online that you can turn in your official paperwork from your bank with this form. We will reimburse you for the amount of the check and the processing fee that they charged you for the fact that it didn't go through. And then we will work with that customer to get the money 
um, for, for that. So, however, if the customer writes it out to the parent, we have no legal recourse to be able to do that. So it has to be written out to either your troop, to Girl Scouts or Girl Scouts of Wisconsin Badgerland Council to be able to be deposited into your troop bank account for us to help, help in case of an NSF situation. We know that girls are, um, are uh, excited about rewards and that is what helps them make their goals um, of how much it is that they want to sell. Um, so you can see that we have a couple different ways for girls to earn rewards. The first one is simply on the magazine and more items. So these are gonna be any of those online um, orders that the girl receives from the magazines and more. So just that new stuff that Gail talked about, as well as any of the returning products that we have in that area. And so she gets patches um, at almost every level. She has the opportunity for Badgerland Bucks. And Badgerland Bucks are basically a program credit that girls can use those toward um, a program that we have upcoming in our Pathfinder. They can hold on to them and use them toward their registration for summer camp. They can use them at the trading post at summer camp. They could use them in our council service center shops. So there's a lot of ways to redeem them if they are, aren't interested in one of the tchotchke items that they see at that level. The next set of um, rewards that we offer are the combined items. So these are gonna be all of the girls' in-person orders, so off of that nut and candy order card, as well as the online nut and candy orders, as well as the magazine and more items. So everything combined into this grouping. So you can see it goes from 10 um, combined items all the way up to 100. And then we also look at dollar value. So um, if she has $900 or more in combined sales, she'll get the really fun hooded blanket. Um, uh, or at 1200, it's a confetti chair or Badgerland box. Then there are also patches and um, patches and uh, a t-shirt um, based on her online participation as well. So we have a lot of ways for girls to earn rewards for their participation in this sale. So as Gail mentioned earlier, the patches all do fit together. So you can see the patches on the left and how um, a girl, what a girl would need to do to be able to earn those items. On the right-hand side, if your troop is returning um, and you participated in the 2019 cookie sale program, um, if the girls in your troop eat whatever girl in your troop sold at least 60 boxes of cookies, she is already halfway toward earning the cute combo patch that you see on the screen. Um, all she has to do is sell 15 items. It's combined items, uh, however she wants to get the sales for those, whether the in-person nuts and chocolate or the online magazines and more and online nuts and chocolates as well. So um, then she will be receiving the combo patch that you see. This is our fifth year with the My Creation theme mascot. And as you can see, uh, we've got Fiona and Flora just as examples. Um, again, the part that's nice is the girls get to design these and make them their own unique patch. Kind of unique to the fall product program is we have two rewards that the girls can have direct shipped to them. So they don't come to the troops and or the communities, they go directly to the home. For $195 in online sales, the girls can go in and create their own patch and put their name on it. So essentially what happens is on the, as soon as she receives uh, or earns $195 in online sales, so it could be the first day, it could be the 10th day or whatever it might be, she would receive a congratulatory email saying that she had earned the patch. She would go in and create the patch, design it, and there's a variety of different colors and accessories and then uh, provide uh, the parent provides the mailing address and we send that directly to their home. That also happens with the t-shirt for 375 in online sales. The girl receives the congratulatory email. She also gets to personalize this with her name on the back. They would choose the size and then we would have that sent directly to their home as well. Troops can earn the, the custom patch at 375 in troop online sales. And that is a one per troop item. We have had people ask about the concern of having a girl's name on the back of their uh, sash or vest or on the back of their t-shirt and just realize that parents can personalize these how they choose. 
Um, I know last year my daughter did not want her name on the back of her t-shirt. So when I got the email, I, I, where it said what name, I said, no name, please. And thankfully they were smart enough to understand that I didn't want the words, no name, please, on the back of the shirt, that the t-shirt came correct with nothing on the back of it. So um, if that is an issue with someone, they can personalize it to make, uh, or I, we've, we've had troops use this as their troop t-shirt. And so then where the name would go, they put their troop number instead. So um, there's lots of different ways for um, people to personalize these how they want to. So a uh, new thing that we're doing this year is offering a troop reward for your troop for participating. For your troop to be considered participating in the sale, you need to have at least two of your girls selling. And if you have a per girl selling average of at least $300 or more, you will be entered into a drawing for one of the following, a two night stay at Campy Howie's Nokomis or Bertha Schumann Lodge. Registration for your troop, so for the girls that participated and the volunteers for meet safety ratio to attend the Campy Howie Jubilee in uh, 2020. And then a two night stay at a Wisconsin State Park and one state park car pass. For every additional $25 in per girl selling average, um, your troop will re receive an additional entry. Um, and we will have multiple troops that can earn this because of the fact that we have three different rewards available. The other fun thing that we're doing is we're basically doing a cookie booth startup kit. Um, if your troop has a $325 per girl selling average, you will receive a cargo tote, a money pouch, a roller banner, a money apron, pens, and a Girl Scout tablecloth. If you're reading that correctly, you'll notice that I skipped over the jumbo cookie box because those are no longer available. Um, at the time we printed all this information, we thought they would be, but due to the new branding of the new cookie boxes, um, we aren't able to get those for this year. So everything else will come in that. So as long as you have a per girl selling average. Now, remind, if you notice, I also keep saying per girl selling average. So you might have seven girls in your troop, but five are participating. We will only look at the sale of those five girls that are actually selling and participating in your troop. We won't count all of the girls. In Unify, as I mentioned earlier, we have a variety of activities uh, available for you. Uh, regardless of whether you hold a rally or not, there are certainly fun activities in the rally guide that you might want to use with your girls. We do also have a 59 minute quick start. It's kind of a fun activity where the girls can learn about phone etiquette, um, actually call people on the phone and invite them to shop uh, by either sending them a text or sending them an email. And that can be done during a troop meeting. I'll show you where that is in Unify in case you have an interest in that. So Sally had mentioned earlier that she's doing uploads and as uh, people get registered and that sort of thing, um, they would receive an email uh, when she does the upload. And here's an example of what that email is. When it comes to you as a troop or um, as a girl, there's a little button on the bottom where it says, go to your dashboard. And that's essentially what you do is you click on that and it directs you to log into Unify. So here's what a landing page would look like um, when you go in. It's um, after you've gone in the first time and put in your password and everything. When you come back um, to the website, it's going to show you this. So the first thing you're going to do is whatever email address we have with your information and that you are using for Unify, you're going to enter your email address, click on the word continue. And then it's gonna ask you for that password. And the great thing is, is if you do click on remember credentials, you just have to click in the password box and it'll bring up your email address and you can click on it and you won't have to remember your password from in that point forward. Um, so then you will click on login, but if you have forgotten your password, underneath login, you will see, did you forget your password? Click on the reset password, the little red writing that's down there. And they do reply very quickly and they will send you a temporary password that when you click on their link, it'll bring you right to the info area that you can then redo your password and put it as something memorable to you. So once you've entered your password, you can click login. And these are the dashboards that you will be 
uh, sent to whether you're logging in as a girl or you're logging in as a troop. So we're going to kind of do a quick refresher on the girl dashboard because if you have questions, this is what um, this might be helpful for you to know. So the, the way you know the dashboard that you're in is you look at the black border across the top. So in this particular scenario, we, we are in the girl dashboard. And the very first thing that we want the girls to do is create the patch. It's kind of fun. Again, lots of different um, faces, eyes, freckles, you know, braces, uh, accessories, sunglasses, as well as a variety of backgrounds. If you remember, the reason we want them to do this first, well, it's kind of twofold, it's kind of fun. And then secondly, this is what would appear in the emails that go out if the girl decides to use her patch. After they uh, do the patch, then the very next step is compose message. So again, we're still in the girl dashboard, compose message. So right here is where the parent would compose the email message if they wanted to. If they didn't, we do have a default message. And as I said earlier, if they didn't want to use their patch, here's the little button they can use to take a selfie. Or if they'd rather upload an image, they could do that instead. It's entirely up to them. Over here, if they want to add a video, that would be part of the email. They certainly have that option. They set their goal, and then they hit save and continue. I had talked about Girl Delivered and that every customer was going to receive that option unless you turn it off. And right here under contacts where that green little button is, you click on that if you want to turn it off. So each one of these lines counts for an email, counts for a customer, right? So in this scenario, you have two people that have it turned on and are gonna receive the girl delivered, and then you have one that has it turned off and will not receive the girl delivered. So if you opt out of not offering that to somebody, they'll never even know that it was available. So for example, if you're gonna see friends and family over the holidays and they live out of town, you could certainly have those products delivered directly to you, and then they wouldn't have to pay the shipping. They could pick them up from you. If you're not going to see them or you know that you're sending an email to someone that lives out of town, you simply turn it off. And it is an individual decision by each email. Whoever participated last year or basically the emails that you sent last year will all be there so you can send out to those very same customers. It's always a good idea to send out more emails than the patch level in case those emails bounce or in case they're bad emails. Uh, if you want to import additional contacts or send additional emails, there's a little button here that says import contacts. You check, you put a check mark next to uh, the email that you want to use and then that will populate automatically. You don't even have to type it if you don't want to. Now, a lot of times uh, with the girl delivered, because they're paying with their credit card, you, you don't actually see that order, but you're gonna wanna know what to take to them. So we have a girl delivered order uh, recap right in the system for each girl. So when the girl gets set, uh, you as a troop will receive products from your service units. Uh, and then as a troop, you'll give those uh, products directly to the parent and girl. And they're going to need this report to know what to take to that customer. So it's kind of hard for you to see on here. But uh, in this particular example, it's Joshua Caesar, 2451 Atrium Way, Nashville, Tennessee, ordered a can of dill pickle peanuts. And then he kind of thought, well, gosh, that was pretty easy. He jumped back on and he ordered uh, Dolce de Leche Owls and more dill, dill pickle peanuts. So he obviously has a favorite there. Moving on, the next thing the girls can do is um, obviously they would use the parent's mobile number, but you put the mobile number in there and then you can say send a text. So when that parent receives the text on their device, they can copy that link and send it out to everybody. Because the system is mobile responsive, uh, it will adapt to the device that, they're, um, that they open that link with, and they can do all of their shopping right from their phone. It's, and they can add it to their cart, pay with their credit card, and essentially do all of their shopping online.
I mentioned earlier that you're going to want more business cards. That's this button right here. When you click on that business card, an eight and a half by 11 sheet populates. It has the girl's online ID because we are in her store and uh, it will print out. And the only thing is, is you'll have to cut those and pass those out. Again, parents can pass them out at work to coworkers. Girls can pass them out to friends and family and so on. We also have a Facebook link. It works the same way from the standpoint as you click on it, you get a link that's unique to the girl. And then the parent can post that in the news feed, not on any marketing sites or uh, Facebook marketing you know, sites or garage sales sites or anything like that, just in your news feed. Again, when people shop and click on it and order, all those sales come back to the girl. One other thing I want to point out, again, we're still in the girl dashboard. There's a little button on the right hand side of the dashboard that says select rewards. We really want the girls to go in on the very first day and choose all of their rewards through for the entire program. Uh, twofold, it, uh, it basically lets us know what they want. And then secondly, it does help them in their goal setting. If a girl receives a reward, it will say earned. If she doesn't achieve a level, it, re it will remain grayed out. So it doesn't matter that she's gone through and selected all of them. If she does not choose it and you as a troop, you have that option to choose it for her based on uh, the item she circled that Sally mentioned earlier. Otherwise, if it gets missed, the system will, uh, we have a default item chosen at each level and the system will make that choice for her. We're onto the troop dashboard and what I want to do is draw attention uh, right now. Just keep, uh, you see the green trefoil there below girl activity. I want you to kind of, um, it's right here. I want you to remember that because I'm going to tell you something about that in just a minute. But this is the troop dashboard. We know that with the black border and you see the different activities that you can do as a troop leader. The girl activity, you can you can monitor what the girls are doing. You can uh, send encouragement to them. It shows you the different um, components of the sale that they participated in. And so it's a great way for you to interact with them. There's also, again, same, we're still in the troop dashboard. There's a spot for you to send emails as well as post messages. You have the My Creation as well. We have a little tab here called Take Action. That's in case you reach out into your community and want to um, have a community project or goal. Um, the My Creation, you have that same opportunity to go in and design your patch. And then the Manage Orders is where you would put in the actual orders for the girls. So you as a troop, all of your girls will be listed in here, the ones that have uh, registered and have been uploaded. And it comes time for you to put in their in-person orders. So essentially what, what you need to do is only the items that are on the order card is what you're going to be entering. Nothing else. Everything else has tracked over to the girl's um, reports and, and her sales. All of the items that occurred in the online store and all those orders are there. So even the girl delivered orders, you don't have to add those in any way. The system has already done that. So let's say that you want to enter the order for a girl. You have her order card. You're going to click on the pencil to the left of the girl's name. And it pops up like this, where you will then go in and enter each of the items that she has on her order card. There's no math involved because we actually have the cost of the item right there. You're simply entering the quantity of the item that's ordered. And everything on the order card is listed here. If you note down here, as I said, all of the items track over. Here's all of the sales for the online orders that were direct shipped and the online orders that are girl delivered. So again, just entering the in-person nut and chocolates right here. And then you hit save and continue. You'll then see uh, the girl rewards that ideally should have been selected, but if you have to jump in there and make a selection because it's not been made, then you have that opportunity. Here's that little earned uh, icon that I mentioned. So the girl has earned these two levels. So again, it's very, um, 
pretty very straightforward but if you have to if you have to go ahead and make a selection this is where you would do it for the girl if not you just simply simply click save and continue so all of the things that that we've shared with you about the rally guide about the troop activities about the uh, flyers that sally's mentioned everything we've made available in unify and if you click on the green trefoil that i mentioned earlier up will come all of the resources that are available for the fall product program for example if you needed additional nut and chocolate order cards you click on here and you can simply print that out under program info and activities that's where all of the rally guide and the troop activities are and the um, ideas that you might want for your first troop meeting unify we've just touched on some of the highlights uh, certainly you're going to want to kind of check it out yourself so we have this little online training button and when you click on the online training over here on the right hand side are minute and a half two minute videos so what we just shared with you about managing orders, that's in there, uh, that's right here. If you wanna look at girl activity or messaging, all of them, minute and a half, two minute videos, so you can kind of take a little refresher to see exactly what you need to do. And the gal will talk you through that. We have somebody talking you through the actual screens in a video, so it's very useful. And I would say jump in there before you pick up the phone or reach out to the council because the, these were specifically designed to help you with each activity on your specific dashboard. Earlier, if uh, we mentioned that if you're uh, returning versus if you're new, if you're new, you're going to need to create your account. If you're returning, you would simply use your email and password and uh, log in. A couple of features I want to point out. These little hash marks are referenced as a burger menu. And then earlier I had talked about the 59 minute quick start. That's right there. So when you click on the burger menu, you'll see all of these options available to you. And you might be, uh, I know you wear a lot of different hats in the fall product program. You might be a troop leader as well as have a girl in the program. The nice part is, is the very same email and password work, no matter what dashboard you're in. So right down here where it says switch role, where the blue arrow is, you can switch between the dashboards right here. And even if you have more than one daughter in the program, you can switch between girls. For that matter, if you have more than one troop, again, as long as you have the same email and password, you can switch between troops as well. So it's kind of nice that you don't have to log out. You can simply use the switch role feature. Like I had mentioned earlier, by October 20th, we ask that you go in and um, verify that your financial information is in the system. So if you click on um, the burger menu and then click on financials, um, you will be able to see if that information is in there for you or not. Right now, it's not loaded. So it's saying no data found. So if you needed to um, enter that data on your own, you can see the blue arrow on the right shows add troop bank. That is where you will click to be able to put in your bank's routing number in your uh, troops bank account number into that area. So we ask that you just have that done um, by October 20th. If you are a returning troop um, that has participated in the 2019 cookie sale program, I will be using all of that financial data to import into the system um, by October by October 2nd, but if you have changed banks over the summer, um, you would want to make sure that you update that information. So in the Troop dashboard under the burger menu, you'll see that you have a lot of different features um, essentially that are available for the girls. So simply by going over here and selecting the pencil, not only are you going to be able to edit girls information, but that's what you would use to put in their orders. If you didn't click the pencil, instead you could simply click the manage order button here and that would take you directly to entering those in-person orders. Sometimes you have someone say, I didn't receive my welcome launch email, if you will, to go in and create my account. There's a little button here that says resend the launch email, and you can do that as well. 
Lastly, you have the opportunity to add a girl that might be missing from your roster. That's the button right here. And again, pretty straightforward. Um, up will pop the, uh, the little boxes where you put the information in for that girl. So we're getting to the end of the sale. It's time for you to uh, pick up your product and pick up your rewards. You are going to want the T2. Uh, re it's the T2, and there's one for, if you can see here, there's one for rewards, and there's also one for product. And then you're also going to want the G2. So G standing for girl, T standing for troop. So when you head to pick up your product from your community chair, uh, you're going to want, again, both the rewards and the uh, product. And when um, the parents come and pick up their product from you, uh, they're going to want the G2. And you might need to print those out if they don't have those. But this is what they look like. The nice part is, is not only does it have kind of the financials on the bottom, but it shows all the product that you should be receiving as a troop and all of the rewards you should be receiving as a troop. And then same for the girl slash parent. Uh, they, when, when they come to pick up, it would list by girl all of the product they should be receiving and all of the rewards. There's a convenient little spot for you and the um, parent and you and the troop to actually sign off on. And so you can use that if you want as well. If you remember from the dates that I gave you on October 31st, we're going to be pulling from your bank account um, all of the amount money that's due the council. And so the great thing is, is at the bottom of the T2, you are going to see a section that says amount due council or balance due council. And um, if it's just a regular number, that means we're going to be pulling that amount from your, from your troop bank account. If it has parentheses around it, that means you had more online sales than you had in-person sales. So we're going to be pushing money back into the account. It's a negative number. And so you don't owe us anything. We actually owe you money. So this um, on October 23rd, um, when you print this out to turn into your product sales manager, you want to take note um, at the bottom of that report what it says that you owe so that you can make sure that you have um, that amount of money in your troops bank account. The other nice thing with the G2 version of this report is that it shows how much the girl should have paid the troop for all of the orders. So that is a nice way to make sure that the amount of money that you got from your girls for the orders is the amount that she should have given you. And if there is a difference, was there a type O uh, error when you were entering the orders online or did she just not give you all of the money? Um, it is important that you um, count the money with the girl when she turns in the orders to you or with that parent. Um, we do have receipts available online at our uh, website, gsbadgerland.org. If you click on the Cookies Plus page, it'll actually take you to our Badgerland Fall Fundraiser portion of that page. And there is a file on there that says receipts. And so my suggestion is that you double count the checks and the cash that you receive from that girl and parent, and you provide them with a receipt letting them know that, yes, this is the amount that we agreed upon that you had turned in. Um, with If you don't do that, if you simply just collect that money um, and there is a difference, the parent you know, could come back with, well, it was all in there when I gave it to you. Well, then who is right? Okay, So it's best that you use some receipts. And so those are available for you online. So as I mentioned, your paperwork is due to your community product sales manager on October 23rd. We ask that you turn in all of your, um, or you have entered, excuse me, all of your in-person orders and the rewards for the girls into the Unify system. Um, you're gonna make sure that you've reviewed the girls' order cards for legibility, um, because again, if you uh, think a seven is a one, you're not going to have ordered enough product, or if a one is a seven, you're going to have ordered too much product. So it's really important that you can read everything of what the customer wrote there. Um, you'll want to turn in two copies of your T2 nuts and your T2 rewards to your product sales manager. You could potentially email, email it to them as well if you would like, because they are PDF reports. The other thing is a final reminder to uh, deposit all of your money into your true bank account. And then again, on the bottom of that T2 nuts and candy report is the amount that we will be pulling 
or pushing into your account or from your account on October 31st. Customer care is done by QSP for everything, for the magazines, the and more, the nuts, the chocolate, and Unify. Here's the information. Uh, some of the things you might uh, reach out to our customer care for would be, uh, my candle arrived and it's broken or it melted, or I ordered uh, dark chocolate, mint penguins, and I got uh, pecan clusters, that sort of thing. Um, more specifically to counsel would be, I've got a couple more girls and I need them imported because they're registered or more troops or that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, Badgerland has a wonderful customer care department. And so if you have any customer care requests that are more specific to your account on Unify, girls are missing, you're not sure how much you owe for your troop sales, you forgot to look on your T2 and you just can't find it, or you don't have access for some reason, you have issues getting uh, your order into the system, um, we are there to help you from 8.30 to 5, um, Monday through Friday. So there's our customer care information, as well as you can send an email to us at info at gsbadgerland.org. Um, these um, women, it is all women at this time, are, are great. I've trained them. They've done a sort of scavenger hunt kind of thing to set themselves up as if they were a troop, how to add a girl, how to check financials, all of the stuff that you're going to be doing, um, they have practiced doing so that they are aware and able to help you um, if you happen to uh, reach out to us. So please feel free to do that. So um, that is all that we have for you today. Let me do a quick check of my email to see if I've had any questions come in recently. Um, so the only... Uh, only So good question. I didn't let you know that by participating in the in the um, in today's webinar or in person training um, within the next two business days. My goal is tomorrow, um, but it may take until Monday. I am going to upload you as the product coordinator for your troop into Unify, and then once I have your troop into Unify. Um, it takes a little bit for that to get uploaded, but once your troop is in there, then I will upload all of the girls that we have currently registered in the system. So I'm going to actually be uploading 29, if you're a returning troop, 2019 registered girls and 2020 registered girls all at this point. Okay. So if you have a girl that you know is not coming back, you can reach back out to us and say, hey, this girl shouldn't be uploaded. Or if you want to send an email to me quick today saying, I know this girl isn't coming back. When I go to do that upload, I will make sure that I do not include her. So once all of those uploads are in, whoever the email is that's in it will receive that welcome email that we showed you about. Um, and uh, they'll be able to click on the link to get access. So their online sales can actually begin right now. Once they get uploaded, we are allowing online sales to begin. And um, it's only the in-person that needs to wait until October 2nd. So girls should not be going to talk about friend or talk with their friends and family and neighbors about the in-person order card until October 2nd. Right now, the parent and the girl can go on, set up her online store, get the email scheduled, ready to go, import her contacts, send that email, and her customers can begin shopping now. Um, let me see. So that's that one. The permission slip that the parents will sign and turn into you, does that stay at your level? Yes. Um, you do not need to turn that into us. Um, unless there is an issue with that girl paying all of the money. Well, considering money is collected at the time the person pays, puts in their order, we shouldn't have any issues with not having all of the money turned in. So your permission slip that you receive from the girl will stay with you at the troop level. We don't need to see that at the council level. Um, so who is entering the in-person sales for that girl? You at the troop level are doing that for all of the girls in your troop. The thing that we want the girl to do is enter her rewards and she can do that from her girl dashboard. Um, but if she forgets, 
or she changes her mind or whatever it happens to be, you have her reward information, hopefully. They have circled it either on their nut order card or their permission slip. So um, you are responsible for entering their in-person nut and candy orders and just verifying that they remember to put their reward order in. Um, so the question is, um, this person is the product sales manager for their community, as well as two troops in their community. Can they access all on the same login? If the email that we have for you is the same for your PSM role, as well as your troop coordinator roles, then yes, you would be able to um, access all of them on the same login. Same thing for you as a troop leader and for your, for your child, for your daughter that's participating. As long as the email address is the same, you would be able to access them on the same login. So if you are a product sales manager for your community, uh, a troop cookie, or co excuse me, a troop coordinator, as well as have a girl participating, as long as all those emails are the exact same email that we're using, you can access all of them through the exact same login. And I'll add one note to that is when you get the email for each troop and for each girl that, that you're supporting, you need to go in and log in because um, each one of those, each one that you register for, it kind of needs to, the system needs to recognize that yes, you are the, the person. Um, and then one more question um, for the rewards um, for the mags and more sections so that first line we showed, do they need to sell at least one magazine or could it all be tumblers, for example? Yep, it could be all tumblers. It doesn't matter. The category is called mags and more. So it's any of those mags and more items online that are make that girl eligible for um, earning that reward or those rewards in that area. So um, we have one question here. Um, you used the permission slips that they need to sign. You said they put in the packet. Can we actually have the kid sign that before we give them the packet? So the question is, um, I had mentioned that you can put the permission slip in that girl's envelope. Um, and the question is, can you, instead of putting it in the envelope, give it to the parent in advance and have them sign it? Yes, definitely. You can. You can... Uh, basically have give them the permission slip, have them sign it and say, okay, here's your girl's selling packet because then you know that they are participating. The other thing is if you are a returning troop and you had a delinquent parent um, last year from the cookie sale program, um, that girl is still able to participate. However, when you hand her the girl envelope, you're just going to conveniently not include the in-person nut and order card. Because that is the only way that she would be personally taking money. And we don't want the girl to be taking money because the parents taught us last year that they have bad money management skills and aren't giving a money that is someone else's to that correct person and keeping it for themselves. So they are still able to participate in all of the online stuff. They can even send out the email with the girl delivery option because we are believing that they will still deliver that product, um, but the person has already paid online, so they're still not getting any money into their hands. So a person that might have been delinquent last year, can the girl can still participate um, this year as long as it's online only. Um, I think that is all the questions that have come through at this point in time. Um, so thank you very much for being with us today for our uh, fall fundraiser uh, training. Uh, thank you for everything you do for your girls and your troop and your community. And um, we hope that uh, you have a very successful Girl Scout year and uh, you have fun participating in this program as well as all of the other awesome things that you have planned for the upcoming year. So thank you very much and have a great rest of your day. Didn't say end webinar.